Hey guys, it's Drew here from Hard Body Reviews. I apologize for the aspect ratio on this video. It's in full frame because I do use my iPhone to film my videos and there's something wrong with the camera lens. Uh, as you can see in the last few videos I've done, there's like a horrible like haze to it where you can't really, even, it's so blurry you can't see. So I don't know what's going on with my camera. So I'm just using the, the other camera on the iPhone, which unfortunately is in full frame. But I'm going to get the iPhone 5 soon because I have an upgrade and this will fix all those problems. But uh, I've been long overdue for an update video. I have a whole bunch of shit I got from the Best Buy Upgrade and Save promotion as well as my birthday, which uh, was is today actually. Um, so I'm doing a video on my birthday, whatever. And I have a couple things I got for my birthday as well as uh, something I ordered in the mail. So let's get started on this. For Upgrade and Save, I picked up Groundhog Day. I hope this... Oh, is this going to be backward? Whatever. No. Yeah, it's reversed. Oh, well. Um, picked up Groundhog's Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog's Day. Groundhog Day. Um, just wanted... You know, I love Bill Murray. I've been trying to uh, get more of his, his films in my collection. And Groundhog Day for $5 at Upgrade and Save is a good deal. Cool movie. Picked up Sinister, which... Uh, when I saw this in the theater, I, I did think it was a good movie, but I was slightly let down. Uh, all the reviews were saying it was so, you know, creepy and shit. And uh, since Insidious, I've really wanted another movie like that, one that just freaks me out. And Insidious really got under my skin and gave me the, gave me the willies. Uh, and Sinister didn't really do that, but I did like a lot of parts of it, and I, I wanted to rewatch it again. And on second viewing, I definitely like it a lot more now that I'm not expecting some really scary movie. Uh, the sound design in this movie, the soundtrack score is amazing when when they saw those found footage scenes and you have that creepy creepy awesome music playing in the background i just love it for that thing alone i would recommend this movie it's got excellent excellent sound design and uh, as well as it's just an entertaining movie ethan hawk is great and it's like a cool little murder mystery as you as he's figuring it out as you watch the movie really like sinister uh now that i've seen it again and don't have really high expectations for one thing but it's a solid horror film picked up Smashed, which uh, I've been wanting to see because I saw the Spectacular Now, uh, an advanced screening of it way back when, probably back in February, and Spectacular Now comes out next month in August, I believe. But that was a terrific movie, really good uh, like teen drama movie. Uh, so I wanted to see the director's other movie, which was Smashed, with Mary Elizabeth Weinstead and Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad. And uh, it's about Mary Elizabeth has... Uh, alcoholism she's an alcoholic and it's kind of just about her getting sober really good movie some really awkward moments in this to watch um with her just doing things that are just very uncomfortable to watch because she's fucking hammered and does these things but it was a really really good movie i highly recommend smashed here we go vacation just another one i wanted want to pick up some of these classic comedies and uh there's a full-length documentary on this too that i haven't gotten around the watching so i hope that one's cool have The Reef, which I watched this on Netflix Instant last year, year before, somewhat recently, and I thought it was great. I, I strongly believe that this is the best shark movie outside of Jaws. So much tension in this, uh, and you just kind of put yourself in that scenario, like what if that was me, and it's just, ooh, that, that would really, really suck. Uh, but it's about this great, this great white that kind of like hunts uh, this group of people after their boat crashes in the, uh, I think it's in the Great Barrier Reefs, it's in Australia, and they're kind of swimming to an island, and this, this great white's just hunting them down and stalking them the whole time, it's really creepy. And the last upgrade and save item I picked up was Stitches, which I thought was awesome. Uh, I had re read some reviews on this saying it was a really cool horror comedy to check it out, and this thing was really cool, some awesome gore effects and uh, good story. It's just like a classic slasher story. Party in this house and the clown comes and starts killing everyone. It's funny. Uh, it's got great production value and again some really really cool kills as well as a really uh, the, the clown himself says awesome one-liners as he kills people. If you're a horror fan and you like you know kind of cool horror comedies, gory ones, check out Stitches. And now on to what I got for my birthday. I got Troll 2. Uh, one that I've wanted to have in my collection for a while, while now. Great movie, really ridiculous, really funny. Only only complaint is this, this Blu-ray has no special features or anything. I knew that, but it's still a shame. They couldn't even include the documentary uh, that the uh, kid did, whatever it was called. Best Worst Movie. 
because that's a great documentary, but what can you do? And the next one I got, God bless my girlfriend for buying this for me, but Street Trash. Definitely didn't want to watch it with me, because um, this is definitely a, uh, a fucked up, as well as very funny and really disgusting movie. You got people drinking this weird alcohol that makes them melt, and these subplots involving all these bums, and awesome gore, really funny, really offensive. Street Trash, and Synapse did a great job with this Blu-ray. Picture looks great. A movie this of this quality, or this the storyline in this movie with what they were trying to do with the extreme gore should not get a transfer that looks this good, and it did. So that's great when, when one of these movies gets the effort uh, that it deserves to, to look great. What the fuck did I just say? I feel like I just rambled. It's been a long day. And lastly, what I just got in the mail today is uh, The Fog by Scream Factory. Love me some Scream Factory, and they're putting out all Carpenter's movies, which is terrific. There's a couple more that are coming out uh, before the year's end that I'll be getting. Gonna get all the Carpenter on Blu-ray, and it's gonna be awesome. Uh, and I love the, the artwork on The Fog. is terrific, and I can't wait to use the original poster art right there. I haven't opened this yet, but I'll put the original poster, the reversible poster art, put that there and have the new poster art up front on the slip cover. Uh, so yeah, sweet. And that's it. Bye.